This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. The UNI men's basketball team ranked 23rd in the coaches poll, undefeated this week. A perfect 3-0 in conference play. Start at the beginning, Coach. Uh, a nice win here last Sunday against a good Loyola team. Yeah, you know, Loyola has really improved from a year ago, and uh, you know a lot of the same players. Uh, Milton Doyle is one of the uh, best freshmen in our league last year, and uh, has certainly improved. I think he's one of the better guards in our league right now. And, and some of the other guys that are back for Loyola are, are better players. And uh, then they added some some new pieces to that team, and uh, made a big jump in, in just a year's time. And a real credit to Porter and his staff for uh, for what they've done. And, uh, they're, they're playing good basketball. Final score of that game, 67-58. Jeremy Morgan had a career high. And then a midweek game defeating Southern Illinois, 55-39. Defense was key and a big second half against the Salukis. Yeah, it, uh, our defense was. It was, uh, I mean, it was a good defensive performance. Uh, there, was, uh, there were certainly some possessions that, that uh, Southern Illinois had some open shots, and we were fortunate they missed a couple of those. You know, Anthony Bean ended up 0 for 10 in that game. And, um, had some pretty good looks that normally he's going to make, and so they helped us out a little bit. Uh, but I did think over um, the course of the 40 minutes, you know, we defended a lot of the possessions well enough where maybe they got late shot clock, they were a little bit tougher shots. And uh, you know, back to that Loyola game with our offense, I thought the execution in the half court, our screening was really good, and we got uh, able to get some opportunities right in around the basket uh, for Seth and some other guys. And then Jeremy pitched in big. Uh, but our offensive performance in the Loyola game, I thought. Uh, made a uh, made a real difference there, and, and against Southern Illinois, um, you know we had enough guys step forward. You know Nate and Seth in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, those two guys really got it going and got it done for us in that game at the offensive end of the floor. Nate had a season high in that game, and then uh, going on the road at Drake, 64-40 win there. Huge second half, a 32-2 run, coach. Yeah, that was. Uh, um, you know, I I thought we played well in the first half you know not great but we played well in the first half and I give a lot of credit to Drake for coming out um, and jumping out to that 14 to 5 lead you know they're on their home floor uh, they've just been on the road and gotten beat in a, in a uh, you know in a tough game in Illinois State but they came out and did all the right things and got themselves out to a lead I'm happy to see our guys respond at halftime and uh, have a little different energy level at the defensive end I think we defended okay um, but didn't have the energy level that you need to defend at the highest level and um, and take away maybe that start that Drake had after that start where they got 14 quick points they didn't get a lot the rest of the first half and then uh, then our guys really you know really got it going at the defensive end in the second half Jeremy Jeremy Morgan a big week where he had a career high against Loyola, had a, a big game against Drake, but then even defensively what he was able to do against the Salukis. Yeah, he, he's put together, really he's put together four good games here in uh, in league play. And, and I think Jeremy's play at the defensive end, uh, Wes's play at the defensive end, you know, those two guys have spent now, most of the time on Ballantyne, uh, Doyle, uh, Dion has pitched in a little bit with those guys. Uh, Anthony Bean, uh, and now in the game against Drake, you know, they've got some guys that can make some plays, and, and I think uh, uh, Jeremy did a good job again at the defensive end. Uh, and then he got it going in the second half with, uh, with his offense, knocking a couple threes. And I think the real key to our offense in that Drake game, though, uh, Eric, was Dion. Okay. Dion uh, was good in the first half. He got to the basket, made some strong plays. In the second half, boy, he made a lot of good offensive plays for us and, and just showed a lot of toughness with the ball in his hands and scored it for us, but also got his teammates involved with some tough, hard-nosed plays and I think maybe his best offensive game for us. Very fitting because coming up next, we have a feature on Deion Mitchell and uh, he's, he's having a nice senior year. Newest member of the Thousand Point Club and he's in the top 10 in career assists as well. Yeah, he's uh, uh, doing, doing great and coming off his best game, he put together a, a good game, uh, um, I think it was against Loyola maybe. Um, I forget which one of the conference mm -hmm. games here. Uh, so uh, he's, played, he's played good here early in conference. Uh, you know, had uh, uh, the show that you guys have put together, the All Access mm -hmm. show. Um, this past Friday, we had a chance uh, as a team to watch that, uh, and that was a uh, terrific show and uh, extremely well done. And, and I know you know how much we appreciate you guys, how much time you put into that to make that show work and, and look so good uh, for our fans. And, but the other thing I can tell you is it, 
it's a, it's a real positive for our guys in our program, Eric. They, um, they're really locked into that, and uh, there's some mm -hmm. things that happen that um, you, you don't always catch when you're in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. When you get a chance to go back and see it, you know, you catch a few more of those things, and that's been good for me. It's been good for our players. So, um, again, really appreciate you doing that, and um, I think Dion enjoyed seeing that, good. you know, all the different things, and maybe that helped him play a little bit better uh, um, yesterday, and it'll help him going forward. So, uh, But he's on a good track right now. Thanks for the kind words, and you can see you and I all access and a story on social media and how UNI Athletics is using it coming up on the show. Check out UNI All Access on the UNI Panthers website. Panthers are at Bradley this week and then home Sunday against Missouri State. We'll be back with more Panther Sports Talk right after this.